Hello, John Britt here. Today we're going to show you how to make uh, trim the feet of some vessels for crystalline firing and make rings to put on pedestals uh, so that they don't stick to the foot or uh, to the drip tray. So here's like a type of drip tray we would make. Sometimes I hand build these. Sometimes I just make like a slab. Uh, okay, so then, then if, I'm tr if I have my pot here and I, I'm trimming it, I'm just going to put it in a chuck like this. I'm going to trim it. I'm not going to do all this in the sake of time, but a lot of times you'll just trim and, and that'll be it. Well, uh, then it's sometimes hard to fit a pedestal ring the right size. Some people do, do it with a lid, and then they trim to that lid, and then they always have the same size foot. Then their pedestal rings are always fine. Okay, But the way I do it is I will make a series of rings like this. Uh, I will throw this. I angle in a cylinder and then I cut it with a needle tool. Then I can just sort of find one that's going to fit there. Sometimes you can turn them upside down. And so each one you see is just slightly different. So that one looks pretty good. So that would be my ring for that. So I make like, you know, a whole bunch of these. Uh, and I will, I will throw them like this. I'll throw them like this. I'll kind of put the needle tool in there, and then I'll just leave them overnight. Sometimes I just cover them like that, and then I'll come back and I'll show you when I'm ready to um, finish that. So give me a second. I'm going to take this off. You can just show them this is how I... Sometimes I put them in pots like this so that they don't dry out too bad. Um, okay. So I should have this pretty well centered here so you don't take too much time. And then all you're going to do is like sometimes I'll measure approximately what my size is going to be. I don't have to get it perfect because I'm making, you know, I'm angling it. So it's going to, they're all going to be different. So I'm just going to center this, bring it out, do my pulls. You want to, you don't want to make it too thin because you know, it's got to support the, uh, the weight of whatever pot you're using. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do. You got the idea. I'll probably take a rib like this and just make it nice and neat. Because what the goal of this is, is so that when the glaze runs off, it does not go uh, it does not go over or under it just goes directly down and then we can cut it off really easy okay so for this one then I'm just gonna cut that off and then you'll see here now what I'm gonna do is just, I'll do it like this I just make a mark like this I don't go in the whole way You want to try to, I mean, I'm doing it backwards there, but you want to try to be nice and neat about it. So then I'm going to let that stiffen up. So then the next day, what I'm going to do is I'll have this. And it's, it's leather hard pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this through here. Try to get it nice and level. Sometimes I have to hold it. There you go. That's good. And then sometimes I'll even come in, like on the bottoms of these, you can see sometimes they're not real smooth and stuff. I'll just come in and you know straighten them up. Okay? So that's basically what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna keep cutting through all those and get those off of there. See if you you know once you start doing a bunch, you'll get the hang of it. And remember, then we're gonna put like a kiln wash and glue, maybe some bentonite in between these, and so they don't have to be completely smooth. You don't need to get too crazy about doing them perfect. But then you can see I would just take my little things over here and I could I could just see like 
you know, if this one's, this one might be too big, and, that, and this one's too big. So then I would just have a whole bunch until I found the ones that were just right and do that. So that's how you do it. All right, we'll talk to you.